Well, good morning everybody and welcome along to another video of me out um, doing some running in off the, uh, of the new Royal Enfield Gorilla 450 so, uh, and it's a bit of a special day today uh, it's Friday the 6th of September 2024 and it is actually my 60th birthday today the big 6-0 so this is a bit of a ride out for uh, a special day and uh, doing it on a special bike <laughs> on the uh, on the new Gorilla so I'm trying, just trying to put a few miles on I have uh, permission from my good lady uh, uh, to go out and do a few miles on my birthday the day off work today for my birthday anyway and uh, she's granted me permission not that I need permission but uh, she's uh, in fact she encouraged me today go out and ride your bike she said go out and uh, it's your birthday go and ride your bike so uh, I'm not going to argue with that am I so uh, I want to try and put about 100 miles on it if I can today and because uh, the weather's been just miserable this week and uh, it's uh, yeah, it's been uh, been crap. So any opportunity, uh, it's got to be welcome, doesn't it? So we're trying to stay away from as much as I can from the main roads today. It's uh, it's a weekday and a lot of traffic. People going about their business and stuff like that. So just to try and find some relatively. Uh, uncongested roads um, one of the first things to say is uh, the last video or the first video of me ride uh, me uh, doing a bit of a show you around and then going for a ride on uh, on this bike last weekend uh, the response to it was uh, phenomenal and overwhelming to be honest uh, and predominantly positive comments and it was uh, really kind of you all to uh, to stop by to watch the video and then to, to leave uh, to leave the comments that you did and lots and lots of name suggestions um, a lot of them cropped up over and over again uh, as to be expected um, but yeah lots of suggestions and thank you for all of those and lots of good feedback about other people's other guys you some of you had experience you picked up your own gorilla last weekend and you uh, you, you sort of uh, concurred with some of the uh, things that I was saying about how it uh, how it feels, how it rides. So I um, really do appreciate you sharing your own feedback. Um, it's not a review channel. It's just me telling you about my experiences of the bike, really, and uh, and riding my experience of riding, which is what it's all about. And uh, yeah, so I hadn't been. I'd, I'd managed to get uh, 39 miles on it. That was nothing what I did last Saturday. So. So I'm trying to get a few more on today. Uh, well, I get your name. Apologies for forgetting your name. Mentioned that uh, the tyre pressures were high. They were up in the uh, I think it was 41 psi or something, uh, 42 psi in the rear wheel. And uh, so on the basis of that, I went and checked mine, and uh, unfortunately they were uh, they were fine. They were 36 and in the rear and 32 in the front. But that was good to know that uh, it was uh, that uh, it was uh, a worthwhile exercise to do to check the tyre pressures, and we found and they were good. But thanks for that, and apologies for me forgetting your name. Um, yeah, so really, really, I was quite overwhelmed with it. Really, uh, loads of you subscribed. And thank you very much for that. Uh, lots of you liked. Or gave a thumbs up and um, again telling it, telling it liking gave a thumbs up and loads of you uh, left uh, left comments that which was awesome so uh, yeah we were trying to try and hopefully get an evening ride of it never it never came off we couldn't uh, we ended up not being able to do it unfortunately uh, just the weather more so than anything and uh, I was out Wednesday night the uh, Sam and the kids and the grandkids we went out for a bit of a pre-birthday meal which was which was lovely um, 
And as I say, birthday today, I can't believe it. 60, where the hell's that time gone? Where the hell's the time gone? Um, but it's been, in terms of uh, my experience with my bikes, the, the last these few years have been some of the best I've ever had, to be honest. Uh, and it's uh, it's become one of my big uh, big passions in life is my bikes now. They give me uh, you know lots of uh, things to rides to do, a little bit of tinkering and fettling and all that good stuff. And uh, yes, uh, it really does. Uh, it's got, it keeps me uh, relatively feeling relatively young. So uh, hopefully maybe out tomorrow Saturday. I don't think I'm going to be out Sunday because we're out for a few beers on Saturday night again. Birthday celebration, so I know I'm going to be any fit state on Sunday. Uh, maybe we're a little bit hungover. Um, so we may, this, this may be the only chance this week to, to get a ride out. And um, I know we're trying to try and look at something where, the, where we all go out, or a good few of us go out uh, midweek. So if I can try and get around about 80 to 100 miles on today, that'll be great. I'm going to head in the general direction of Ludlow, Tenbury, probably Tenbury. Uh, so nothing that you haven't seen before, but a different bike to have a play on. Um, still battling a little bit to keep the revs down, but I have sort of got, uh, excuse me, better gist for when and when not to change gear now um, so we're all good so what I'll do is I'll get a little bit further into the ride and somewhere a little bit more scenic hopefully and we'll have a and I'll carry on sharing me uh, me ramblings with you yeah so I'll see you shortly Right, we're back folks, and we're just heading down towards, uh, we're on the 456 I think, and we're heading down towards Tenbury. Stuck behind two uh, agricultural vehicles, pulling wagons, uh, the trailers full of hay bales, doing 10 miles an hour. Over we're rid of them now, thankfully. So we've got a little bit of a, a windy, I think, a bit of a twisty. Eh? Yeah, as I say, I'm really starting to get a uh, good feel for... for the Gorilla now. I'm really liking it. is going to be uh, one fun bike I think when uh, when the time comes for should I say when he gets properly run in what I'll pro probably do here just nip up, uh, we go up onto Tully Hill, I think, from Tenbury. We go up onto Tully and then uh, we'll head back over Clearbury Mortimer and Beaudley, I think. Handling is lovely. I soften the suspension there. Again, one of the uh, commenters, I'm going to have a look what your name is and try and put it in the, uh, on the screen, uh, suggested that I, uh, the good adjustment for the suspension that he'd done on his was to uh, drop it onto the third setting and uh, definitely feels 
better for having done that to be fair I had got it on the hardest setting on the first ride I hadn't made any adjustments at all then but uh, yeah I think uh, setting number three three stops just, just feels that a little bit more uh, forgiving and I can yeah I think once we've got that extra power available, it's just been such a lot of fun. Okay, six gear, it's pretty much holding. It doesn't like it on uh, on a bit of a gradient, an uphill gradient. Just need to drop it down to fifth in that scenario. Other than that, at around 40, 45 miles an hour, sitting comfortably in. Uh, sixth gear and then back into the national and so I've said previously gear change is just bottomly smooth it's wonderful bottomly buttery smooth Well, it's been a little bit kind to us today. Hopefully, we'll, uh, with it being September, we'll have an Indian summer. That would be nice. A lot of flies hitting me in the face, though. Drop the visor down a bit. Um, bit of a a few uh, people have commented on a uh, few of you have commented uh, saying you're already missing Stan the Scram uh, yeah I'm missing him too um, but don't despair I have uh, a few more videos uh, of uh, our summer in Wales so there's a few more videos of me and Stan the Scram uh, to come so you haven't seen the last of him yet uh, drop one out uh, yesterday which was Thursday a, uh, a, a video drop then which was uh, us doing uh, Abachlaveni and Corris which was uh, I hope you've enjoyed that if you've watched it and that's just another chilled ride just through what, uh, what can best be described as um, authentic Wales it feels a bit like a it's been uh, frozen in time so uh, a few more to come of us uh, and, some, and hopefully some that I think you'll hope really enjoy because uh, some of them ended up being absolutely lovely days out so you haven't seen the back of Scram of Stan the Scram and uh, yeah as, as I did a few of you got attached to seeing him uh, out and about it was a charming bike a really charming bike a joy to own um, and uh, new adventures with the uh, with the new boy on the block, a new kid on the block. So uh, yeah, there we go. So we'll, uh, we'll catch you again shortly as we get down towards uh, 
Lee Remortimer. That's Lee Remortimer, Lee Hill. I'll see you shortly. There we go, that's three and a half thousand revs, fourth gear. Pulling like a train, if I uh, open the throttle it would go up here like a bat out of hell I think. But again, trying to keep the revs down. I'm going to chop the engine from uh, straining to be honest. So we're having a bit of up and down the gearbox in order to do that. Stop it, stop it getting into a position where it's hunting is what I'm trying to do. When it starts to hunt I'll drop it down a year. We're all right here I think now. Nothing better than being out in the countryside on a Friday on your birthday. 60th birthday, isn't there? And uh, where the hell have those uh, 60 years gone? And my eldest granddaughter will be uh, she's 17 or 18 this year. And she's 18 in November, I think. Wowza. And it's, uh, it flies by in a heartbeat. I think I've said it lots, lots of times before. You've got a leaf in me helmet. Uh, savour all those moments because uh, <laughs> suddenly they're gone. And you wonder where they've gone. And then you look ahead and you realise, wow, I've got a lot less left than I've already uh, had. And 70th, uh, 7th decade. <laughs> wow, was uh, yeah, Running in on these sorts of roads is uh, keeping those revs down on these sorts of is challenging on this bike it wants to it's pushing you yeah it's uh it's gonna be a spirited bike a bike for spirited riding i think it's gonna be it is it's just uh i'm just gonna limit what, what i can do with it at the moment Hunting, look like it. You are constantly looking for that ideal gear for what? Speed revs and incline. I think I mentioned it on the, uh, on the last video, the induction sound is, uh, is nice. I saw I noticed that Hitchcock seems to be selling uh, DNA filters for this already. So you want to watch on uh, what Hitchcock's come out with over the coming weeks. That's just a lovely pull up there. That's lovely up to fourth. See, I'd, if I drop that into fourth now, which is I sure into fifth, it would start to hunt. So it's just keep the speed down, really. It seems to be quite happy in fourth. Hopping around the 30 mile an hour mark. I'm not so sure I've done this road before, you know. I must have done. But 
It don't seem that familiar today. I don't know whether he's going to go up onto Tree Hill, you know. We'll find out shortly. Let's come down here again. I have fitted an Optimate charge lead onto this. I have made a video, not brilliant. I may or may not uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Release it. Uh, most people know how to put an Optimate lead on, but for anybody that uh, doesn't, it might uh, uh, give you a bit of an idea, so I may, I'm, I'm debating whether to put it on or not, but I have made it. It's a lovely ride, that road. Milton. Yeah, I recognise that building, so I'm pretty sure I have been here before. Road ahead closed. Oh, here we go again. Here we go again. What do you reckon? Ignore it. Have a look. Have a look. That's what I've started to do a lot now is have a look. May I have to turn around? May not. Let's go find out. You can get up to Clear Hill up there, then, by the looks of things. That's interesting, isn't it? Remember that for another day, I think. Debating whether to go and try that narrow lane up to Clear Hill, you know. How crap does it look? turn this little ride into an adventure. Let's go and have a look. I don't want to be washing the spike yet, but if I have to, I have to. the best road. <laughs> Interesting. Frequented by horses. That's a little message there for us. Peter, this is uh, a <laughs> one for you, Pothole. Oh, that's good now, take it easy, take it nice and easy.
mills and hair strip. Interesting. Third gear. Bit of glass. I think it's bike perfectly suited to a road like this. Well, it's pretty, pr pretty sure-footed to be fair. Gearing, still a challenge, and even probably even more so on a road like this. Check his recording. I want to also check that flies on the screen. Oh. I like it a lot. Japanese knotweed. <laughs> Brilliant. Paul, this is a, a good find, mate. A very good find. I think the boy done good. A bit gravelly here. Extra care required. Somebody's been cutting the hedge. Somebody's still cutting the hedge. Has he seen me? Is he going to let me through? I think so. Let's get over and out of his way. <laughs> 42 miles into the day's ride, which is about where I wanted to be. Shortly I'll be heading back over in the direction of home. As the, uh, the grandkids are coming round after school and I don't want to be late for them.
the hill over there, flea summit. So we're not far away, I don't think. I have a feeling I know where this might emerge. Yeah, I can feel myself uh, properly gelling with this bike now, and understand him. It's the uh, way it operates. It's going to be a very capable bike, you know. Very capable bike. It's perfectly happy and at home on a road like this, as you would expect. Hello, squirrel. Disturbed him enjoying a nut there. <laughs> Wonderful. And it's uh, up here for Tlee Hill one mile. Nice place to have a property. Yes, this is certainly is a, uh, so, <laughs> seeing it perform on a road like this, no problems at all. Great way to repurpose phone boxes in villages like this. Let's let me get away from here a bit. Uh, yep, exactly where I thought it was going to bring us out. Bit of a steep hill this, third gear, no, second gear, 3,000 revs. Third gear, hunting a bit, back to second. It's better, less hunting on now, in third. Yeah, it just wants to pull its way up this hill. You are, yeah. Oof, lots of gear changes required. <laughs> Lovely. Pull away that pull then. That's smooth. Wonderful. What I think I'm gonna do. It's rather than go up to the usual place we go, which is Lee Summit. I'm just gonna pull in over here. This will do us just nice, I think. How's that? We can have a beautiful look over there. Sun down. How much lean have we got going on here? What I'm going to do, I think, is just straighten him up a little bit, put him on a bit flatter surface. So there's quite a bit of a camber over to the left where I was then. And there we go. On the stand, engine off. Fantastic. We'll let him have a little, little rest now. <sighs> Wonderful. Wunderbar. OK, 
Okay folks, well look at this vehicle here. I've seen one of them for a while. Interesting. Very interesting. Right, so here we are. That's on the uh, the gorilla and I've just, just decided on a name for him. And I'll tell you that name when we start moving again in a minute. Um, so here we are, there we go. Here he is in a beautiful backdrop. I'm going to get home now. See the grandkids after school. Eat birthday cake. My daughter Sarah made me a glorious lemon birthday cake. So we're going to be getting stuck into that I think and just look at that bike I just love it I love it love it love it so let's jump on the road and I'll wind up the video Some folks don't like the uh, TFT dash. To be honest, I don't, I don't mind it. I quite like it. I think I may have to try the light uh, setting out and see what that looks like. But I do like it. It isn't overly modern. Oop, bit of wind caught me then. Let's go. Yeah, so um, what I'm going to do is wrap up this video. As I uh, hope you just came along for this bit of a ride and enjoyed it. Um, a little bit different towards the latter part where I found that lane. And uh, that made it a very pleasant ride. Um, so I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to say thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed seeing a bit more of the running in of... Uh, the gorilla ah uh, yeah and I was going to tell you his name I've decided on a name and I'm going to call him Gus Gus the gorilla uh, thank you for all of you that suggested names uh, there's some great ones in there but uh, I think just uh, Gus it rolls off the tongue nice and easily and I, I've been out and about him now a couple of times he feels like a Gus so I'm going to I'm going to call him Gus so um what I'll do, uh, I'll drop the miles on that I actually did today for anybody who might be remotely interested or at least I can see what I've done when I look back in years to come hopefully so I'll drop today's miles on, I think it's going to be about 80 by the time I get home which is getting me on the way to getting that first service done and uh, I'll say uh, thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video uh, love to hear your comments um, and uh, if you if you like it, please feel please consider subscribing and uh, and maybe leaving a thumbs up. So uh, on that note, I'll say uh, cheers and uh, to all of it.